Hey, what's going on? Uh, a little different today, not in the car. Uh, not because I don't have to go someplace I do. I've got um, blood work and I've got um, cardiac rehab. Uh, uh, let's see, where'd I leave off? Um, blood work was um, my INR number for my blood thinner. Uh, last check was still low. So I am, and that was Friday. Uh, so I'm still taking the, the shots. They refer to the shots as a bridge, so I don't think they, the shots directly affect the INR number, but they do apparently do something with uh, blood thinning. Um, so I'm still on those, and I am taking a larger dose of, um, of warfarin. I think what happened, and I talked with uh, the, the woman who gives me my, my dosages, I think what happened was... Um, Unbeknownst to me, iodine supplements can have an effect on um, on blood thinners. They can reduce their effectiveness. And I recently, at the same time when I started trying to uh, get my blood pressure down through, through diet, I started eating a lot more, you know, fruits and vegetables, mostly fruit. But um, I, th I also reintroduced the iodine supplement that I was taking from uh, my thyroid, which... I didn't think anything of it. I thought so little of it, I didn't even think to really mention it to anybody or to look and see if there'd be a kind of a, a, a side effect with it. But sure enough, there there was. So uh, that's what we're thinking right now is that it was the um, that it was the iodine supplement that, that screwed me up. And they told me, uh, don't stop taking the iodine supplement. Keep on that. You know, if you got to take it for thyroid, you got to take it for thyroid. And well, it's a, that's a different video, but. Um, uh, but yeah, they'll just ad adjust my um, blood thinner accordingly, which they have been. So hopefully those numbers will come back good today. Uh, or at least good enough that I don't have to be on those uh, those shots anymore. Because right now, I don't know I, if, if I'm doing something. I probably am doing something wrong. Uh, but like my, my abdomen is all like bruised up. From, it's not real, real bad. It's not like real big bruises or anything like that. I'm not going to show you. Uh, but I've got a bunch of bruises from when I'm in in injecting myself with this crap twice a day. I gotta do this. It sucks. Um, uh, then cardiac rehab after that's been going fine. It's kind of it's become a sort of routine and a little bit boring. Um, but I do think it is. I, th I do think it is helping. Plus, I'm working out on my own. Uh, in fact, I know that what I'm doing is is helping because um, you know, I'm gonna grab my book. It's right here. Uh, on a week ago, well, a little a week and a couple days ago, so not this previous Sunday, but the Sunday before, I ran my, um, uh, that's not the right one, got to go back a week, I write everything down when I'm working out, some people don't, I do, I like as much, I, I'm a data guy, I like as much data as I can get my hands on. Uh, so yeah, my, um, my minute per mile time, and this was not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before, uh, three miles at, uh, 15.53 minutes per mile. Not, I mean, not an exemplary time by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but considering I haven't been running, uh, like the last three miles I did before this would have been... June, the beginning of June, so well before my surgery, before I even knew I was going to be having surgery. I knew I had the aneurysm, but I didn't know I was going to be in surgery. So anyway, a sub-16 minute, um, mile, minute per mile time. Now this past Sunday, my minute per mile time was reduced down to 14.02, so I was almost below the 14 minute mark. So that's almost two full minutes taken off your minute per mile time from one week to the next. And you say, well, you were, and, and that was, this past Sunday was five miles. And I haven't ran five miles in, uh, I, I bet you it's been two or three years. And when I say run, it's run walk. It's not like, just running the whole time. Um, and you can't, and if anybody sees this and says, oh, well, you're just running harder. Like, well, no, I'm watching my heart rate the whole time. Um, if you know anything about heart rate, uh, training, I was in zone four solidly for both runs. So uh, that's how much things can improve, um, in a week when you're just starting out. Um, I wouldn't say that that holds true for everybody. Obviously everybody's different, but, um, 
it's been my experience, and I think a lot of people would kind of confirm this, when you're just getting back into a routine, an exercise routine, I mean, or you are new, uh, don't be surprised if you see your you see your improvements coming pretty quick, uh, because they, they, they can. Now they don't. Now will I take another two minutes off next Sunday? No, uh, even though it, it's a, it's a lighter day. I'm back. I forget if I'm running three or four miles, but um, I don't expect my, my I expect my time to improve. I don't expect it to improve two minutes per mile. I don't expect it to improve one minute per mile. I'd be thrilled if it was 30 seconds per mile, um, but we'll see. And I, I, I'm not going to push real hard. Now on that five mile run, I did push a little harder on the last like half, uh, half mile, but it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, so there's that. Um, the other thing I did say in a previous video, I was going to show some gear off and I got my new shoes. I've actually had these shoes. I bought them. Uh, it would have been back in November. Yeah, yeah, beginning of November. Um, because my son, my son, this was at the the, the Pennsylvania State cross country meet. So my son, uh, after uh, after four years of trying, he finally qualified for states this year. Uh, so we were we were all happy for that. But at the meet, kind of like when if you go to like these half marathons and stuff, at like the race or full marathons, whatever, they'll have the their fitness expos and there's usually vendors that are selling shoes and a lot of times you can find some good deals so i i got a pair I, I i wear brooks ghosts and the last pair i got were ghost 12s these are my old pair if not that anybody cares what they look like but this is what i had before um i don't think i ran anything further than a 5k in the well i know i didn't run a race that was further than a 5k in these i don't know if i did any training runs that were farther than that either i may have done there may have been like a four mile run squeezed in there somewhere, but I don't think so. Um, because again, since the diagnosis, I just haven't been doing much long distance running. But these are the new ones, Brooks Ghosts. These are Ghost 15s. And for people who aren't inclined or aren't from the running world, um, what it is is these companies, they, because I had these, I had these before when I was wore Asics. They'll have a line of shoes and then each new model that comes out, it just ratchets, ratchets up a number. And a lot of companies do this with a lot of their shoes. It makes it easy because now you know, oh, I need a new pair of shoes. Well, I'll get the same pair that I had, but just the newer model. Um, so they're typically, you wouldn't expect there to be a lot of changes, you know, between the two. But here's the new ones. Kind of hard to make out. They got a stars and stripes pattern. And you say, oh, these are gaudy. They're butt ugly, whatever. I got them because they were cheap. Um, I got these, I, I don't know, 80, 90 bucks, I think, which for a pair of name brand running shoes isn't bad. Um, the, but I think the reason why I had so many of them is because the pattern was just not popular. They've grown on me. I didn't really care for them much at first, but the, <laughs> but they, it has grown. The only thing I don't like, though, is that the, um, and I actually might change it out. The shoelaces are actually different. I don't know if you can make that out. Oh, they're kind of flat. My old ones were kind of roundish. I like these laces better. I kind of want to change them, but I still wear these shoes. I only wear these for my Sunday runs for um, the basically the long runs. Not, not that every week is a long run, but I wear these for my Sunday runs only just because I want to keep the mileage kind of down on them. I don't want them to be worn out by the time we get to like fall, even though they might be. I, I honestly, I have no idea how much running I'm going to really do this summer. I want to do a lot, but you never know. So I wear these for when I'm doing more like walking stuff for when I do, um, and I usually lift weights and running shoes. I lift my weight, lift weights in these, uh, just cause it's, it's what I have. Um, so there, is it ideal? Not necessarily, but for kind of, I'm not buying a pair of a special pair of shoes for weightlifting. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, what else happened this week? I had a little mini, <laughs> little mini Hot Wheels haul. Um, nothing too crazy. I didn't find any, no, no major finds or anything like that. But I did finally get this one, which turns out I had and didn't realize it. So I have this one that I open the, the Audi with the Audi livery, the old Audi Quattro livery. I'm not an Audi fan generally. Um, a couple of their cars I think are pretty, pretty cool. Um, but I really, really do like this livery. I always have. So I got that, and then yesterday 
I picked up this one to match. You can see they are different cars. This is the main line, this is the Forza. And you can see the package is haggard. It's caved in in the back and everything. And I bought that because I was gonna open it. And I'm like, oh, what the heck, I'll open it on camera. Because um, I, the, I wanted to have these two cars displayed somewhere together since they matched. And if they ever did another Audi with the, the same livery, I would do that. But uh, I'll pop this sucker open here. Uh, oh yeah, rubber wheels and everything, but yeah. So here they are. And yeah, I don't have my, my cameras mirrored. I understand that. And no, I'm not going to fix it in editing. If there's a setting in my phone to do it, I haven't found it yet. Uh, so that's been it. That's been it for my, my weekend. Um, I'm gonna really, really try to get this video posted later today. Since today is Tuesday the 16th. Yeah, it's Tuesday the 16th. So I'm gonna try to get this, this posted tonight. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, no other current event things to talk about. The video is already 11 minutes long. Uh, but that's it. I'll check in later in the week. Um, and if not later in the week, I actually no, I won't. I'm sorry. I probably won't check in later in the week. Because I've got my daughter's in um, band. And we have a, a county band. County band night at the local college. So I will be there that night. I don't know. I might, I might record and post something. We'll see how it goes. But that's it for me. Everybody, take care. Stay warm. It's freezing cold here. Uh, that's it for me. Take it easy.